Hey folks, James Walsh here from Whatcom Middle School in Bellingham, Washington. If this is the first time that you've watched these TPEP videos, I would recommend going back before you watch this and go to teacherweb.com, uh, Washington, it'll drill down to Washington, Whatcom Middle School, Mr. Walsh, and then you'll see an icon toolbox. Click toolbox and you'll find a thing um, called using TPEP. Um, folder system I believe. So go do that, just take you a second, I think it'll uh, it'll help um, with the rest of this video and all the videos that are embedded in this intervention toolkit. Okay, so speaking of, uh, let's go to our first criterion and um, if you notice over here on the left, so this would be the Bellingham School District Evaluation, so look at that first criterion and it is um, first criterion is centering instruction on high expectations for student achievement and if you drill down to that that 5D it's connection to standards broader purposes and transferable skills okay and then come on over here what does that look like and we're gonna talk about a simple strategy that you can put in place so this will be a short video today so the lesson should be based on uh, grade level standards and the learning targets aligned to the standard Okay, so we know we need the learning target and it needs to be aligned to the standard. And the lesson is consistently linked to a broader purpose or a transferable skill. So what they're getting to is, is, uh, is the student able to really generalize? I probably would have used the word uh, generalized over transferable, but um, uh, generalize that skill into other environments, domains, or uh, life. So uh, what I'd like to show you is, again, right here is where I'm going to keep record of all the interventions that I'm trying. Okay, so what you're going to do is um, take a look at this first. This is just a real quick example, but we've seen this a lot. People have uh, learning targets up on their boards. Teachers communicate and bring their class back to those targets. But here's a, a simple learning target that you might see. Uh, I can divide two uh, digit numbers by a one digit number. Okay. And so some, something simple to do because this is about purpose, this is about generalization, this is about making that link between life or another environment, another application, to take that target and make sure that that student understands what's the purpose of this, why are we even doing this, okay? And so um, I, what I'm going to start doing in the classroom, I haven't, I haven't even started doing it yet, but I'm going to have my learning target might even have some way of coding some of the uh, vocabulary in it. That's a different, um, a different area that I'll talk about. But for today's purpose is um, I want to show you how to make sure that you're getting that P1 done uh, under the 5D. So criteria one, um, the 5D is P1, and we want to make sure we get purpose consistently in that learning target. So I've put purpose here, and this is, might be something I talk with my students about after I talk with them learning target. They just have a statement. I mean, we divide things with our friends. We call this sharing. Okay, and so when I have students then later talk about how they're doing, uh, how, rating themselves, how they're doing on that target, I might ask them to share with each other, so how might I apply this and see if they're able to communicate this back to me and maybe they can see some other applications, particularly as, we're, as we start to learn those division steps that they're able to go, oh yeah, I think about. So we're going to really try to highlight purpose. All right, that's it folks for that particular strategy.